Do you have to buy a diesel heater? Okay, here I'm going to show you everything that you need, everything. So I'm going to start with the theory first. So I'm going to show you how to connect everything, how everything uh, works. So that way you're not going to panic once you have all the, the parts. Also I'm going to tell you the good things, the bad things about, uh, about these equipment. Also I'm going to review few details in eBay so or if you want to buy it on Amazon or whatever few things a few mistakes are made and everything that is needed in order to have a successful install so first like I said I'm going to start with the theory and then I'm going to show you a little bit the, um, the device by itself I'm going to show you later the installation that I did so now I am in my truck so this is a truck box and everything is working properly so I am in winter time in Cincinnati so everything is looking great and it's not that uh, noisy like another people might say some people will say well but the, the fuel pump is doing some ticking noise that is annoying and all the things but I'm going to explain you all those things so first of all I'm going to show you a little bit the, the equipment so when you buy it you're going to get something like this uh, I have the cover here on one side so this you have to put the cover in order to make it work but in this case because I'm going to show you the inside it makes no sense so this is a plastic some of them they say that it's all metal so now I'm, I have another one that, that is working this piece uh, comes here so that, uh, that, that will tell you that that is the input or the um, inlet for the air and the other side will be the outlet as, as you can see here so here you're going to have the hot air coming in so basically this equipment is very easy to install I'm going to show you the, I mean the first time that you get all the pieces you're going to think oh <laughs> how do I do this but uh, usually when you buy the, the equipment you are going to realize that uh, there is no manual or if they give you a manual it's terrible so here you are going to have the the input so for the air so as you can see this is the inlet here uh, for the diesel and here is going to be the muffler so this is the exhaust and uh, once you have that um, that is pretty uh, pretty pretty much it and I'm going to uh, tell you later about this why uh, that happens uh, to me but I'm going to start with the theory so in this case when you buy this type of equipment what you're going to get is the fuel uh, the gas tank you're going to get the, the device in this case the, the diesel heater and you're going to get the fuel pump I'm going to show you later the, the other parts you're not going to get the battery the battery is something that you have to buy I tried to use one of those um, power supplies that you can use usually uh, for for a, lab a laboratory so let's say in this case I had um, one of those uh, power supplies uh, that you can get you know to test a circuit and everything but it, it, it didn't have enough enough amps so don't do that mistake by the battery and that will do it and here you will have the um, splitter for the hot air so that, that is very important because some of the equipment for instance the, the one I, I just showed you the problem that I had is it didn't came with the air filter it didn't came with the splitter for the for the heater I mean for the air so that is very important because at least in this bus track that you see here I have one wall that is in that side besides the the back of the truck and in the other side you know you have the the cabin where you drive and you have the the other section so if you want to put the bed or whatever else you can you can do that uh, as well so at least in this case when I bought this truck it came like that so I was thinking okay if I want to go, be warm here that is one thing and if I am working 
in the other side and I want to be warm as well that is great so it depends of, of the situation maybe if you have just maybe one thing like a um, sprinter you know something like, like, like the mercedes sprinter um, maybe it's just one thing one room one big room maybe that would be okay with without having the 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 heater i mean the splitter but if you um, maybe i'm thinking right now so if you have maybe the the sprinter that is a, like a huge room but you want to have a heat you know maybe in the back and in the front to with this uh, divider you can do that that would be great i mean with this splitter so otherwise you're going to have maybe heat in one uh, place and you will have to push it with with some fan or something like that so uh, this is uh, you're going to get some of the heaters they come with 10 liters that, that will be like uh, around two gallons so um, uh, with that uh, you can get uh, the big tank usually the bigger the better or if you have a diesel uh, truck maybe you can use the the same thing the, i mean the same tank that you use for to power your your truck otherwise you can uh, get another one and also you have uh, another options with the with this if you have for instance uh, like, like like me i have a gas a gasoline uh, truck but if if you don't want to mess with the with the diesel inside because that is a problem for instance if i if i buy the other type of diesel heaters that come with the with the gas tank all built in the problem is if you spill something on on your truck you're going to have the smell for a few days until you clean up or whatever so in this case i what i decided in my case i'm going to show you of course the, the installation and everything a little bit of theory first uh, so I, I what i decided is to leave the, um, the tank next almost next to the fuel uh, tank that i have uh, with my my truck so that way if something spills you know when i am in the gas station i will not have a, that, that problem and that would be the best option so that way you know that the the spill will be in the gas station not inside of your house <laughs> or mobile house or rv or boat or whatever you want to install this uh, diesel heater so the the other thing is the the fuel pump so the the fuel pump in, in this case you have when you install it make sure it has one arrow that will say okay that is the the direction so if it's like that you take it you install it uh, first from here to here and you follow the arrow and that is uh, the one that is going to push the fuel inside of the the diesel heater so in this case you have a uh, three entrance or three inputs or three inlets however you want to uh, say it so one is for the air so that is very important make sure that when you buy the the diesel heater make sure that the one that you are getting not like the one i got uh, is coming with a um, air filter so that way you know you don't have to mess uh, taking this apart you know to try to clean it up later because you you're getting air you know from the environment if you're camping or something like that you don't want to get all all the crap all the dust inside so that would be the the main thing the second diesel heater that i bought because this one is not working the one that i'm showing you the the other one i installed it it works great but the first one wasn't working so um it didn't come with the air filter the second uh, option i mean the second uh, diesel heater that i bought it came with a air filter also it came with a, a muffler because some of them they they don't come with the muffler it's just a pipe by itself and that's it i try with the with muffler and without it the difference is not that big but you know if you want to be a, a, a stealthy and you don't want anybody to know that you're living in your truck uh, i will recommend to uh, i would recommend you to buy something with the muffler so because usually it's maybe 10 20 dollars extra and then you have the air filter Filter. you have the this silencer or the muffler also you're going to have the splitter for the heat so if you have to buy those things you know uh, separated it uh, you're going to end up uh, by a uh, pain more so just remember that so basically like I said before when you're going to put all this together make sure that you have a safe place to install the the diesel tank or the gas tank and then you run the pipe 
here it usually comes la like that it's all green or maybe pink or any other color and then from here uh, to the fuel pump the fuel pump remember it cannot be horizontal it has to be like 35 degrees so remember to you to install it that way also you're going to get the um, like a rubber band that is going to be around it so that way when you make it work you're not going to hear the clicking or the clicking will be yeah, almost no noticeable at least in my case i bet i cannot even hear it from here at least from inside if you're outside and you're paying a lot of attention maybe and if you use one of those clamps that are metal maybe it will make a lot of my no more i mean it would be noiser because some people they were complaining some clap clap Lap because it's pushing the uh, the diesel and in my case I, I cannot hear anything of that at least inside of my truck okay here we have the the, the diesel tank so the diesel tank is very important because you have a I mean the more gas that, or diesel in this case that you can put the, the better it will last longer otherwise if you have a like a light a tiny tank like I have here I have a tank I think this is like a two liter tank or three liter that is like less than a gallon so it's not going to last uh, like very long and also it will come some of these tanks they come with a sander i'm going to show you with this thing this is useless at least for this type of tank if you have a bigger tank or you have you know the metal ones the, the one that you can put in your hand and then you can screw it in great otherwise this is useless you're going to see is completely useless uh, usually they come with a small pick uh, like that I'm going to show you later and that is how you install it so this is uh, where you're going to plug in everything and then you have the fuel pump the fuel pump it comes with an arrow arrow on top of it so that way you can see the direction how the fluid have to go so this is the it will be the input this will be the output so that way the fluid will go from here to here and it will end up inside of the diesel in, I mean the heater and uh, here you're going to have uh, this uh, this type of uh, uh, fuel pumps you're going to hear uh, if you pay attention like clack 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 because it's injecting the the fuel uh, when you're installing the the fuel I mean this for the first time what you have to do is just let it run maybe a few drops until uh, the fuel is going to fill up all the the fuel line in this case this otherwise the fuel pump is going to stop working after I think 15 or 20 seconds something like that because if it keeps working all the time uh, it will burn <laughs> burn out and it will stop working so it has like a self protection or something like that that is regulated by by this so another thing that you have to do when you install this keep it on 35 degrees that is all you need to do and you use uh, one of those clamps the the rubber clamps that so that way it will prevent you know uh, it will be more quiet because if you leave it with the metal one <laughs> usually it comes with the rubber one but if you use the metal one or you leave it you know hanging or somewhere like like that you you're going to hear the noise you're going to see many videos surely uh, some people say oh it's making noise it, it's driving me crazy at least here in my truck i cannot hear anything uh, the only thing i hear or maybe i don't know if you can hear it right now is just the wind with the uh, with the hot air that's it I don't I don't hear the the noise you know of the heater I don't hear the noise of the fuel pump anything I mean this is amazing um, if you do everything properly everything should be okay and also uh, another thing that you once you put the fuel here you're going to have the other input will be for the air like I said before uh, try to use the try to buy one of these units that comes with the air filter otherwise all the dust all the dirt and everything will end up here is you know like the engine you, you cannot have your car running without the air filter otherwise 
you're going to mess up the the heater so in this case i recommend you that and and then you have the exhaust it will be um, uh, it will come with the ex, uh, with the silencer uh, how they say it they say it or it will be a muffler so if you can put something to make it quiet the better i try with and without it um, i don't see much difference but you know if you can reduce it maybe one db or two db or something like that uh, the better other than that um, you have here the um, the splitter for the heat so i recommend you to buy something with the splitter because if you have a, like a big truck or at least in my case uh, i have a divider in, in the half of the truck so half of the air will go here and the other half go in, in to the other side so it will be of course cheaper to run this type of heater than using your engine so in this case you can uh, like I, I did i put half of the hot air here half of the hot air in the other side uh, that's it so if you want to maybe uh, go for vacation or whatever you have the the options you you can go maybe uh, i mean you can leave the car or the truck uh, running or whatever you are using all the time but remember like uh, the police cars you're going to for each if i am not mistaken for each hour that you leave the car the engine in idle idling it will be like 30 miles it, it um, is equivalent to 30 miles so if you leave let's say you sleep all night 10 hours straight it will be like 300 miles just one night uh, that's it so uh, it, what you're going to end up is spending more money on on uh, i mean on the field and the oil oil change and everything all the maintenance that you have to do on your car so if you can get one of these uh, great also the good thing about this is because you're going to put this on the floor so that way all the fumes and everything they are going outside they are not going to be inside i can breathe just perfect i don't have any problem here and it works um, amazing uh, no uh, another thing because there are some people who likes maybe the um, the gas option you know the like uh, the gas uh, kitchen and if you use something like that you know you may have all the fumes inside uh, that will not be recommendable so that would be my my take on this I, that is why i recommend if you can get you know the diesel is uh, is cheap the diesel is at least where i am is about three dollars a gallon and usually if you I, I was i mean i don't use this all night or all day long because i'm, I'm working most of the time but uh, i hear some people saying that if you leave it like in very low maybe a week it may last who knows so i think it may use i mean it depends on the model because not you know maybe 2020 um, is one thing maybe in few more years it will be uh, less but uh, just see the whatever you're going to buy you you can know the efficiency of the of the unit so uh, usually uh, what I read in another for another people also in some other YouTube videos they were saying that if you leave it you know low maybe it can last the whole week so if you have like a small truck I think it would be enough to if you're leaving I don't know <laughs> all the time in your truck you can leave it you know it running and always is going to be warm in my case uh, here in Cincinnati Ohio if it gets very cold i don't know like i said i don't live in the truck all all the time but if you leave it you know uh, running the um, the the unit all the time and it's very cold uh, it might it may take more more time to warm up the whole thing otherwise uh, it may it, it might be enough for you it, so it depends so it's at least this unit is 8000 uh, kilowatts uh, if i'm not mistaken in btu is like 17,000. so uh, do your math and it might be enough uh, for you or not so the other thing is you you will need the battery i tried to, to use one of those uh, small power supplies for uh, for a laboratory you know to test maybe electronics and all the things and it wasn't enough so with a regular battery uh, the 
that will be my my take so if you can buy a deep cycle battery those are better because they last longer and they they will the the battery the charge will last longer than if you buy just a regular uh, battery if you can get maybe one that is gel better because you don't have all the fumes uh, going inside so that would be the the option otherwise it depends where you have the battery uh, you can keep the battery charged by um, using the um, the, the, uh, the energy of the alternator of your truck or you can use if you want to solar panel or if you're going to stay you know in one place uh, maybe you can use just a regular alternator and uh, I mean a charger and that would be okay I tried at least in my case I tried I leave it it's just um, charge with my charger and um, and I, I've been using like a few hours and uh, almost uh, each other day or maybe once a week or something like that. I didn't have to charge it for like almost a week. So it lasts very, like very long. It doesn't uh, use uh, much power. At least it, I think it was like 40 to 90 watts. So I think that is very low uh, power consumption. And here you have the, the thermostat. So we uh, use the temperature and basically that's it. So you can leave it low or maximum all the time. And you have only four uh, connectors, four connectors. That is all you are, you're going to need. One is for the fuel pump, very easy. Number two is to connect the, <coughs> the display. On this case, it will be the thermostat. The number three for the battery and the number four for the uh, uh, heater. So very, very easy, very basic. Th that is all you need. So don't, don't desperate when you're going to install it. It's just one for the fuel pump, another for the uh, thermostat, the diesel heater, battery, and that's it so it's very easy to plug in everything so i'm going to show you step by step i'm going to change i'm going to show you in the computer so that way you can see everything that i'm telling you okay very basic like i said before this is the um, where you're going to plug in the um, the fuel line so you're going to put it just here la, like that but i'm going to show you later on of course when i'm, I'm installing it in the truck here the um, intake for the air here the exhaust done uh, this is going to the floor make a small hole so that would be my the ideal so that way you make sure that all the fumes are not going to get inside of your cabin this is the unit uh, by itself as you can see here there is a diesel five kilowatts uh, like uh, the one I'm, I'm using right now is eight that is the the biggest one I was able to to find to a bolt and it says version uh, guardian and that's it so here you have the the, um, the electronics as you can see here on the side and basically that, that's it so there is no more no much than that and like I said before this is the key one of the connectors to connect the, the unit so if you see all the cables don't get this separate and the, this unit is bad because it wasn't it, it doesn't spin uh, freely so this plastic is touching here so this wasn't a disaster and I ha I'm going to to return it so that is the idea uh, this if you're thinking what is that <laughs> okay uh, this is uh, something that I bought uh, to install in to divide the the heater the uh, like in the splitter uh, you know for the air and this is uh, for dryers i thought the it was going to hold it but no nope, it start melting so don't use this this is very very bad idea also if you uh, and i tried to use this for the um, gas tank and what happened is because this is not completely flat it wasn't uh, I mean the the diesel goes inside that is fine but uh, you you're going to end up uh, having some leaks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some another pipe that is going to be a little bit smaller inside of the, this one that I have and it's going to go all the way through to the tank so that way when I put the gas it will go all the way through and uh, this will be like a safety net or something like that to keep the 
the other pipe inside. Otherwise, you have to buy some other type of um, hose, maybe for the gas or something like else. Uh, usually, they they are more expensive. So uh, this one was like a. Uh, Twenty dollars. If you want to buy the same thing uh, for gas, is like sixty. Uh, so, but I think it was the, the the gas is going to be better because it's all flat. So I, th I think that would be the uh, the best option. So here you have the fuel line. Like I said before, this one uh, works uh, great. Never had any issue with this. And I'm going to show you here. Here you're going to see all this cable. You're going to. See Think, oh, what is that? How do I connect everything? So, uh, don't this is spray. So, this is the fuel pump, like I was mentioned before. So, as you can see here, you, you see the arrow. So, make sure that the arrow you put the, the, the gas tank goes here, and this goes to the diesel. Uh, heater so that is how it goes and everything should be okay if you are wondering why did I cut this is because I didn't I mean it's not a good idea to run the cables next to the fuel I mean uh, next to the exhaust so um, because it may melt it so I made a hole in the uh, kind of far away from that and what I did is I made a small hole like my pinky and I, I cut the cable I put the cable and I, I put it together you know you splice it and then you shine it once you have done that and that's it so that uh, that way uh, the hole it will be smaller and you can fill it up yeah the mistake I, I made as, as, a, as soon as I left I finished installing everything I said okay I, everything is, is uh, great and I start uh, smelling you know fumes inside I said why is the fumes and I was thinking something else so what I did is I fill up the because the it was like a, the pinky size but you know enough to get this fume inside so I fill it up with silicone that helped a lot and another thing that I did that I'm going to show you here on against the floor I put silicone all around this as well just in case if you have you know something very maybe like a pinhole or something like that I don't want any fumes going inside and that helped a lot so now I, I mean <laughs> it solved all my problems I don't have I don't smell any fumes anything and everything works uh, great so here uh, this is one uh, one of the plugs this is for the heater the other one is for the fuel pump like I said before you know, just plug this in, plug it, this in here if you want to cut it great otherwise you will have to make like a huge hole to run this through the floor like I did and then you have the other one that will be for the uh, thermometer or in this case the thermostat here so you plug this in this is a disaster the I mean this unit it didn't work I mean I had all type of errors with this I think it was because in the beginning I didn't I, I was using the power supply the um, for the lab and and it wasn't enough uh, uh, amps in order to make it run other than that maybe it will run also even if everything was perfect the unit was uh, touching you know one of the side and the the turbine turbine wasn't working uh, as well and the other cable the other it this goes to the battery negative positive that's it so it's no it's, it's no more complicated I, I mean when you see for the first time when i saw this i say oh i have to call the mechanic to go install this um after uh, watching a few youtube videos i say ah, i'll do it myself it's not that difficult uh, also don't expect to get you know any um, 
manual or anything like from the Chinese or the Chinese also the manual that they gave you they usually they are useless so when I started reading instructions the how to use the other thermostat was uh, a pain in the butt here you have the fuel pump so this you put it inside you have to do put a lot of pressure in order to make it work but yeah uh, it, it is feasible so as you can see in this case it's going a little bit easier but the first time well <laughs> I, it was terrible i'm trying now but you know it's, it's going it's going uh, as you can see just remember 35 degrees and you should be set you should be gone so that's it that's it for now i'm going to show you now the uh, computer so that way uh, you know what to buy all right so this is the the thing that i was talking uh, before so this is the splitter try to get something like that that is uh, very important uh, here the <laughs> slicer i don't know <laughs> of, of course this, there is a typo here but okay whatever this is the muffler that i was talking about so to make it quiet uh, yeah, this is uh, it's, it's just a basic thermostat don't i mean if you if you if you like it great but uh, i mean that, that will be no the main thing so here as you can see uh, here is the muffler the fuel pump all the pipes the, the divider or the, um, the splitter for the heat uh, here you have the f the fuel tank the liters uh, it's almost like two gallons and uh, or two gallons and something else and basically that's it so now i'm going to show you the other options that i was talking about, uh, before this uh, might cost a little bit more or maybe the same thing but as you can see here you have the fuel uh, tank is inside uh, it's small and you have to make a hole to you know you know to <laughs> get the, the the fumes out of your room otherwise you're going to have some problems uh, the tank is smaller i think i i have another another like this okay great here is as you can see here i have a few pictures if i'm not mistaken so yep so as you can see here is the unit it's the same basically the same unit 35 degrees the uh, the fuel pump and here you have like a very small container um down there you have the the heater <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It, it depends on you, but uh, if something spills, you're going to have the, you know the diesel smell inside of your place. Here it comes with the um, air filter that is very important. So that is uh, one of the things. Here, as you can I uh, told you before, it comes with this sander. This I don't know. It's useless. You're not going to be able to use it here. It comes with a small pick here that is more than than enough. Uh, the pick that I was talking about is this one. Hopefully you can see it here. <laughs> uh, so that is what you're going to put inside. I'm going to try to show you. Uh, maybe I have another picture for this. Here you have a different price. As you can see, this uh, this is like maybe twenty dollars less. But just pay attention, like I said, muffler, air filter. That will be my my take. So make sure that you have that. Um, and a big, of course, a tank, and you should be golden. So I'm going to leave the links uh, in the in the link i mean i'm going to leave the links in the description of this video here you have another one they, they have like different colors but basically it's all the same i have one with the remote control i have this remote control that you see here uh it's not working it's, it's dead i send them a, a video the, the chinese they were asking me for a video i said i said, I said okay i'll show you a video so that way you see that it's not working as you can see here you have different color red ne black uh, gray i mean it's all the same crap and the only thing like i said be so, uh, before when i bought this is i said okay i want you know the splitter for the heat that is very important the remote control is a plus it's great to have it but <laughs> the one i have is not even working and 
uh, on the air filter that is the main thing otherwise you have to buy separate the separated um, we're going to spend more here as you can see the, the liters this is the one I have this is a disaster this is the one that is not working and also the um, the filter uh, for uh, something that I forgot to mention the filter for the um, the fuel filter you know because if the 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 diesel is dirty or something like that here as you can see that is very important I had to buy separated uh, because uh, the one I came uh, the that tip that you see it was broken so um, uh, so it's, it's a pain in the butt <laughs> uh, here you have the options as you can see 10 liters and um, for I don't know if a car <laughs> they, they put the car here I don't know if, if people install these things in their car I don't know it's even more for a truck than anything else but as you can see you have the same thing just make sure that it comes with everything and if you are in if your time uh, are if you if you are time sensitive or something like that buy two of these because you know one of them might be dead here you have the remote control that is the one I have and it didn't work at all so it was dead completely and this one i don't know if this uh, tank you see uh, i don't know if it's 10 liters or not but uh, that would be my my advice make sure that you get the big tank so here you have the conversion 5000 is 17000 btu 8000 is 20 thousand uh, twenty seven thousand so I was mistaken so eight thousand is a lot um, uh, here is the one I bought this is the little peak that I was talking uh, before I'm going to show you anyway this is the big one uh, with the little one and um, let me show you yeah when you if you try to put the sander here that big thing that I was talking uh, before uh, there is no way that you can install that so so this is the thing this is useless this is for maybe a metal tank where you can put you know your whole hand in the hole where you put the fuel to uh, adjust this otherwise uh, I mean it's going to be a pain in the butt I asked you know, some forums say hey how do you use this and, and then I didn't realize because I didn't open the um, the fuel tank and I didn't realize that it came with the with the pick that I was talking about this is the little one the good thing about this is um, I don't know if you have a small truck or something like that and you want to put this it comes with a this is a holder you know you can grab it somewhere and otherwise you have to cre create something like I did so uh, oh look all the stuff that is coming inside so basically here you have the the main you have the screws that is a good thing uh, the screws might be for, is for this and you have this so this is the main thing uh, one of the mistakes that I did is I was grabbing this uh, very hard and I was twisting this to uh, grab it to the tank but uh, I was able to break this so make sure that you are very gentle with this otherwise you're going to break it so this basically you have to make a hole here and uh, you have to put this here uh, with the wire I'm going to show you step by step anyway and you throw this this thing away I mean inside sorry and you hold the, um, the nut in, in this side put it like that and that's it so that is what I was saying that the other sander it makes no sense because you're not going to be able you know to put this inside and put the the nut uh, because this 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 thing goes in those big tanks where you can put the, your whole hand and then you can, you can put this thing and then inside from inside and then you can put the like that you see and then you put the the, um, the nut later in and then you adjust but if you want to do this here or even the 10 liters is is not even big enough to do this so this just make some extra money if you want to sell it separately maybe for regular 
uh, gas tank for someone else but it's not for you it's not at least for this project is useless so that will be my my take on this so if you have any question you can leave me in the comment in the section below and now i'm going to show you step by step how to install the diesel heater okay here is the heater as you can see and we have on top the blue rubber thing and we're going to use the drills that you see here to make the hole the the drill the drill bits and the drill and we are going to make the hole as you can see here on the floor i'm going to use the flashlight so that way you can see a little bit better and that is the piece of metal that made the holes the circles on the floor so that way you know where you're going to make the the holes that is what i did in this case and if it doesn't work you have to make a bigger hole or a huge hole but in this case as you can see the rubber plastic that, that you're seeing here is to prevent the smoke to come in uh, and that is how you have to use it you, you you put that rubber thing first and then you put the the metal uh, later and then you have the input the output and the other input it will be for the fuel so one for the air or the other for the fuel and the other like i said before is the output for the gas so here you were using the drill to make the holes like i said uh, before and i'll keep going Sometimes when you are doing the holes, make sure that they are big enough because uh, it might, the, the holes are going to go. I mean, uh, the holes, I mean, the pipes that you see, but um, if they are not big enough, the holes that are around it, it will not fit. So what I did in is, uh, in an, I mean, you're going to see later, but I, I did make them bigger. Otherwise, it won't work and also as you can see you're not going to use all the holes that you see here in the middle in the middle as you can see you see four holes in one end and four holes in the other end so here like i showed you before as you can see there are one hole the one i'm tapping right now as you can see there is nothing so you don't have to make a hole over there but you have to make the hole for the screws for the screws that is very important also a big hole for the input and output of the gases or in the case the air and everything as you can see here we have the the big hole for the i think this hole is for the exhaust and you have the other hole that i have to make around uh, next to it that it will be for the intake of air so basically that was one of my mistakes that i did that the, the hole was kind of small but uh, after that uh, i was able to fix it and it worked great okay in this video i'm going to show you teach you how to install the tank so in this case i have a four it's a i think a 350 or 450 it's a truck box and we're going to install the diesel heater here so in this case uh, i just for my other channel in spanish i just install this i'm going to undo it and i'm going to show you so in this case the, the main thing happened to me if you grab this like very tight you're going to break it so make sure that that doesn't happen i'm going to use uh, this wire that you see here i'm going to use a new tank that you don't see but i'm going to show you in a little bit all right so in this case i'm using this hanger and this wire and it fits just great here so what we are going to do we're going to grab the other one And what you can do is you can grab one of those calipers to measure the diameter i think that is the name uh, so that way you know what you're going to use otherwise you can start little by little making the hole here so as you can see you i'm putting this here but it's not fitting all the way so i was uh, playing with the other uh, tank so here i'm going to go just one more so here you have all the measurements There you go, very little. 
I think I need one more hole, one more. I have to make it a little bit bigger. Also, you have to put the O-ring inside. Maybe I can try to make it a little bit bigger with this because if it's too much, too, too big, I'm going to have trouble. There we go. Yes, I did that and it works just great. So now I can put it the way it is. So what we are going to do is we are going to grab this from the other side, from the hole. It's a pain in the butt. This should be already made, but this is the way it is. So when you do, just you grab this. There we go. Now what you can do is just bend it a little bit on the top, something like that, and that should be okay. So now we're going to drop it here. And as you can see, it went directly to the hole. So now we have to pull, as you can see. And it's all the way in, so we should be okay at this point. Now I'm going to grab the other O-ring, as you can see here. And there you go, I have it here. One mistake that I did with the other tank was pressing so hard here that I broke this little nipple. So make sure that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen to you. Okay, now I think it should be tight enough. Hopefully it will not leak and now we can get rid of this so I think the easiest way would be to cut this out and try to get it out from the other end. Yeah, I think that will be the best. Alright, just cut it. And that's it. So it fell already. So now as you can see, this is ready to go okay as you can see we have the this uh, plywood and i have this bracket the l bracket and what i'm going to try to do is i want to mount the tank uh, here and that is my the, the truck that you saw is my 3 350 e350 s4 and as you can see we are going to put it just on top of the holes and that should be enough so otherwise you have to leave it a little bit uh, of a space so that way you are going to at least in my case a uh, space to put it under this so that is the um, the neck that you have to cut maybe later that is what i'm going to show you so that way you can put the holes so they are called a uh, goose neck neck as you can see those are the holes you have to see through the holes the fan i mean you, you have to see the um, the wood and then you once you see the wood you see, are going to use the screws that you saw uh, before so that way uh, i'm going to mount it over there so that is how it works uh, now uh, we are in the under the truck as you can see i have installed the pipes the intake the outlet for the for the gas as you can see and the fuel so we're going to try to put it over there as you can see and i was uh, playing around with another um, 
tanks but i think that is the place i'm going to install it as you can see uh, over there so basically uh, what you are going to do is you are going to mount it on the floor again i'm going to try to put the the hose the green one that you see on the bottom so as you can see that is the fuel pump and remember it have to be about 30 to 35 de degrees i made the hole so as you can see this is the side of the track and always st start from the inside out so the way we will see uh, to fit the hose and also the um, the neck to put the cap here okay as you can see uh, this is how it looks like in uh, from the other side i'm going to put this piece of tube i'm going to use the clamp tie it up and then put the other side here and if it's great okay as you can see all done i put the, the clamp over there it went all the way through so we are uh, grabbing everything with screws with this powerful bracket and everything should be looking good so now i have to connect connect the fuel line over there as you can see here and things should start working right away as soon as i can put some fuel and connect the rest of the wiring you if you see this rubber thing is uh, you have to put the um, the clamp inside and put the the other thing the i think they they are using this type of uh, rubber to um, to prevent from choking the hose but you can use the drill if you want to to make it a, a little bit bigger so that is what i did i did the i did use the drill bit with the drill to make the hole a little bit bigger otherwise you're going to be <laughs> hustling a lot in order to put the pipe inside and it makes no sense so Otherwise, you can try to use it without it. As you can see, it will fit just fine. But um, but uh, you may, I mean, it may choke or not. I mean, it's just see yourself. Uh, it depending on your you case. As, as you can see, and now we're hearing the click, 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 click of the pump, and it's going up. So the first time, what I recommend is to leave um, laying the hose on the ground so that way all the fuel pump all the hose will be uh, full with uh, a diesel and then you can connect it right away so that way the the pump if it, the pump is running without a uh, diesel or fuel yeah it will die <laughs> so it will uh, it, it may get damaged over time so usually uh, this fuel pump i think it tries like one minute or two minutes and if there is no fuel or anything like that it will stop and everything will shut off by itself so that is why you have to do what i just said and after that you give it a try uh, two or three times and then it will start working right away the only thing make sure that you get the um, the gas and uh, use a filter the gas filter in this case and make sure that it's uh, connected all the way. As you can see, there you have the the fuel. This is like the second time that I tried to make it work, but uh, I did that. I just uh, let uh, I dropped some drops of gas on the drop on the floor, and then I connected right away. And then there you go. So that is how it goes. That is, it goes from the tank to the fuel pump, and the fuel pump to the um, diesel heater and um, basically that's it so that is uh, um, this diesel heater how it, it works so i have to take it out because this diesel heater wasn't working so i have to buy another one and that is the 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 input of the inlet so i make sure that you use the clamp in order to tighten it very well and to put the green line inside otherwise it will not work and like I said before, I tried here, I, I made the holes a little bit bigger to make it work. Uh, but if you don't want to hassle with this, make a huge hole, you know, that it will be as big to, as the two pipes, the in, inlet. The problem with this, as you can see, it's touching somewhere, so it's not spinning freely. So I have to take it apart in order to do that. Very easy. Just unscrew this from here and uh, once you screw it you can see if that is the problem or not in this case i'm going to take it all out again 
and I bought this one. This one uh, seems like it's working well. I just plug it in. Uh, even with this, uh, no fuel, no nothing. And I feel that the fan is spinning, so that is good. I feel that this is working as well. And as you can see here, you see the arrow that shows how the fuel goes. So here you connect the tank, here it goes to the machine and everything should be good. So also the remote control yeah, looks better. So it has LED in every way, <laughs> all the, the this huge LED better than the other one with the remote control and the other one that I had here from the other one it looks very crappy uh, this one so you have to push a few uh, ones and you will issue start working but I'm getting all type of errors errors saying I don't have enough voltage a uh, uh, bl glow something <laughs> plug is, is not connected something like that but the manuals are terrible so it doesn't say anything i'm going to return this and get something else i mean i'm going to use this uh, this is i bought this one uh, because the other one uh, it doesn't seem to be complete this one uh, i'm going to tell you later it comes with different outlets so if you if you want to leave one outlet here for the heat and the other one in the other side of the truck so hopefully this will work great okay it was in 80 so now it's 144 celsius i guess surely it is i guess it's the engine inside the temperature of the engine so here you can feel the intake of air and here the heat and it's working very very good for now i have to start making some holes over here so that way all the heat will go over uh, to the rest of the cabin and that's just it's not going to be just inside of that of that place trap because once i close the lid that's it i found the hole saw three inches so I was able to make a hole, as you can see. I went through that uh, wall. Now I have to do another one in this wall uh, over here for this conduit, as you can see. And the idea is that it will be somewhere on this area. Uh, I want to show you the other side. As you can see over there, it was a success. So yeah, I feel the heat, that is great. And it's so powerful this heater that if you touch it, you will burn the your hand. So don't touch the the conduit when it's very when it's a maximum speed. So now we're going to make the other hole, and everything should be a success. Now I have to put the clamps over there. I have to adjust them. So you can see they're loose. I'm going to put them here, here, here. I cannot put anything because this goes inside. But uh, I'll try to see if I can find something else later. And as you can see, I was able to put this one to work great. So in this side, as you can see, that is how it looks like. And it's working very good. I have a new battery with the used one the heat wasn't great uh, I had like 10 volts but with the new one amazing okay something I forgot to mention I was running this and I was smelling like the fumes so I didn't realize that hole that I was I, I made for the cable for the fuel pump uh, the, I mean, it was tiny, you know, but um, uh, I, I see the the fumes were were coming from that hole. So what I did, I put um, silicon over there and all all around this plate that you see over there, and in the other side uh, as well. So I took it all all over again, 
guys just lift it up a little bit i put the um, the silicone and that's it so this is the silicone i've been using and i let it uh, dry um everything should be okay as you can see i just took it apart because of course it wasn't working and i said okay surely it doesn't have any battery inside so i have to see what type of battery does it take and i'll try to put it back again later as you can see with this uh, power supply uh, it's a lab laboratory power supply as you can see but it wasn't enough it, did it didn't have enough amps to make it run so i was thinking well maybe instead of buying a battery i can use that but i use you know uh, to fix electronics or something like that but it didn't work it did not work so it will turn on and, and everything but when it start working it will shut off by itself or it will uh, display on the display some error with the power and if that is your problem uh, you know why <laughs> so as you can see uh, i put the battery inside uh, all the heat are going you know outside of that little box that you see so the battery will not overheat or anything like that but the bat all the cold air and everything is being taken from that little room maybe i can put another pipe in the other in the intake but i think it's not needed uh, for now i'm getting good amount of heat and i'm keeping the battery charged with that a little charger that you can see i bought a brand new charger in uh, walmart but it wasn't good it fried the battery and uh, it wasn't charging anymore so i bought that one in a garage sale and for that one the, it works great better than the new one that i bought on garage sale so the and the thing as you can see it's not working i i got the battery and it's working the light but it's not doing anything so you push it on off and nothing so as you can see it's blinking the um, thermostat and that's it it's not getting anything that's it so if you put it in p5 as you can see that is the temperature the highest temperature and if you want to lower it uh, it goes uh, 4.8 or 0.7 or like a, uh, whatever and um, that's it and if you push uh, you keep it uh, you push it for a few seconds it will turn on and if you push again the middle button it will turn it off then also i think you have the um, some kind of timer or the hours and um, and also it will tell you the charge of the battery so that is a kind of like a good thing as you, as you can see uh, you can play with the with the menus it depends all these chinese heaters are, are different so they have different menus different buttons and i bought the cheapest battery i think i paid like 50 dollars and that was uh, enough so that was uh, plenty at least for for this and it works uh, great no problem at all as you can see also in another in, other, in the display it shows the battery shows the timer shows the temperature uh, usually that is the uh, i don't know why what is that <laughs> that's a symbol that is the um, the battery 10.4 and you should go higher i guess but the, like i said before i have to ch replace the battery because it got fried because the, the other charger but at least without the voltage i'm having it works just fine just make sure to get a good charger that will not overcharge it otherwise it will fry it. and uh, i got I, when i went to a walmart and i saw many reviews saying the same thing many people complaining about the the charger battery exploding uh, i don't know prime the the battery and there you go as you can see the bat the temperature you have like 200 degrees um i think that is the internal uh, bat um, temperature and if you go lower as you can see you can change it and you can play the, with the other menus really i didn't play with that the only thing i care is turn it on turn it off set the temperature and that's it the other thing the timer on the other option i have no idea I don't like the, the, the other menus, the manual, like I said before, not very good. And um, it should be simple. It should be, I mean, this thermostat, it should say, okay, the temperature, maybe turn it off by a certain hour if you want a timer, but it should be simpler. 
it, it should not be that complex like <laughs> this remote control that, that they have. At least for my need, if more than enough. Now, uh, that is part of my wood and the other thermostat uh, that they had. Here is my lab, as you can see. I have a NAS. I have a plywood on the wall, all my monitors and everything that I use to make videos. I have to keep working, organizing, get rid of everything, all the tools, and hopefully I will add maybe some shelf in another time. That is the door. And for now, that is how it works. That is the old um, heater. And that is the heater. So for now, as you can see, working great. No problem, happy with the purchase. All right, that is the, is the, ent the entrance of the truck, as you can see. And here we have the, the remote control, the thermostat as, as usual. That thing that you see, the battery, the signal, the cell phone signal that you see on the left, I have no idea what is that for. I don't see any purpose. There I go, as you can see the temperature is rising, voltage is going low. And if you're going to use it, I think in 12 amps is when you charge it. If you're going to just uh, keep it charged but no, not charging the battery, I think you can use it in 2 amps. As you can see there, the, that is how they call it, like a trick lighting or something like that the battery or oh, tendering uh, there is another uh, brand that calls uh, tender as you can see the battery is going up a little bit uh, but I, I don't use it every day so i use it once in a while as you can see the temperature is rising um going up because now it's the maximum temperature all right i hope you have enjoyed this video so if you have any question do you mean to install it for you Come to me, I am in Ohio, or if you want me to go to you, or if you know, need uh, assistance, uh, please call me. All my information are in the video description, and see you next time.